Month 1 in the calendar of the eternal. Month 4, day 12 of 2022. I want to make this next clarification also concerning the dress of the ladies and gentlemen. The Lord has determined that we should, when we are in his sanctuary, be in long sleeves. The ladies should not have her legs uncovered. The shoe must be closed and her head covered. Many people have asked me if this is during the entire feast. I want to let you know that it is during the whole feast. Personally, in all the solemnities of the Lord, from the beginning to the end, my head is covered. My skirt is almost down to my feet, my ankles to where the boot ends. And under it, I always wear a pants. And my feet are covered with socks and shoes like the male. As always, the male has his feet covered. Because sometimes we ladies take off our socks and shoes and wear sandals. No, like this, in this way, is not what the Lord has indicated, but that the feet be covered completely. In the matter of when the long sleeve is specified. Usually, I always, in the solemnities before, I have my long sleeve all the time. Either for the time when I go to the sanctuary or when I'm out of the sanctuary. I know there are many ladies who are of low income in many places and they don't have maybe three or four long sleeved shirts like I have. Thank the Lord. But for everything there is a solution. You can wear, you can put your shirt with sleeve as far as it reach. And you can then put a little coat over it that has a long sleeve or anything that has a long sleeve jacket. You can put it over the short sleeve shirt that you have because this is not about you running out now to buy clothes, no. It's that even if you could, you should not. And on top of that, there are many who don't have. Many people have asked me, can I wear the long sleeve when I am in the sanctuary, when I am going to the sanctuary, and then, well, can I take it off so I don't sweat it because I have one or two changes? I don't have anything else. Also, if I have this one or two changes, can I rinse the garment so like this, remove then the sweat from it? Because we are not working, it won't have dirt stuck to it, but can you rinse it? And have it ready for the next day? Yes, you can, beloved brothers. The Lord knows the situation of each one. And when he asks for things, he knows that in one way or another, we can fulfill that requirement that he has asked of each one of us. So I wanted to leave all this. The male should also have his long sleeve when he goes to the sanctuary. If you don't have many long sleeved shirts, well, then do in the same way that I specified for the lady. But yes, ladies, please keep your head covered from the beginning of the solemnity, beginning also the Sabbath, because the Sabbath is also a day sanctified to the Lord. We must have our head covered all the time, not only at the time when we are in the sanctuary. Also, on the new moons, we must do also in the same way. The lady must have her head covered, and since the Lord has raised the norm on this spring feast of his Passover and unleavened bread, well then, we continue from here onwards. Whenever the lady is going to go, to the temple she must have her legs covered her shoes closed her feet covered her shirt with long sleeves with her neckline not cleavage because this is very important no tight shirts or skirts this is another thing in which the lord has instructed me and I want to share it with all the ladies. The gentleman knows that he is in the presence of God. 
and he should be in his long sleeved shirt. The lady, with her head covered and everything in order to stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, many times we do not see him, and not seeing him, we think he is not there. But, beloved brothers, when we call upon the name of the Eternal, the Eternal is present. His presence is there. His holy angels are there. Many ladies say, But how is it that I have been instructed that the hair is instead of the veil? That is why it is there, that we should not cut it, and we should leave it long? Beloved sisters, when we read the verse there, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, very clearly we realize that there it is speaking that on top of the hair should wear a veil. But just in case we have not understood it this way, the Lord has also let us know in this feast, he has marked it very strongly, a woman shall not enter into my sanctuary with her head uncovered. And if he knew that the hair now does the function of the veil, and he knows that none of us ladies are shaved, that the skin on our heads is visible, then he would not have to say this. He would not have to emphasize this to us. And if he already specified so in this way, it is clearer and more stronger for all the ladies that the Lord desires the ladies to have their heads covered not with their normal hair but with a veil with a little cloth that we put here on our heads when we are in his presence also when we go to him in prayer even if we are in the house i usually like to wear a veil in the times when i want to spend a lot of time in consecration before the lord which in fact, almost all the time, I walk around with my head covered. It is not a general rule that all ladies must be like this, but those of us who want to seek the Lord constantly, yes. I go about with my head covered most of my time, but even more, when I did not do so before, in my solemn days with the Lord, in my times apart with the Lord, in my times of praying before the Lord, in my times of opening the word before the Lord, in the times of the feast of the Lord, I have always been with my head covered since the eternal. Let me understand this. And I praise and glorify his name for that. Because the Lord has let us know that if even his angels before him cover themselves before his presence, how much more us ladies, the male, many people will say, but if the angels cover themselves, why don't the male? The Lord has specified that the male does not. There are many things that we don't understand, but the male is the image of God, and we are part of the male. Another of the things we are going to continue to learn when we go to heaven. With the Lord's help, we are going to continue to learn many more things but in the meantime let us embrace what the lord is letting us know in this hour for that is what we need to continue to advance in him and it should be vast and sufficient for each one of us so beloved brothers i'm making this second audio which i leave with you because i missed this about the dress and it was very important to make it clear 
both for the ladies and for the gentlemen. When I say ladies, gentlemen, I'm talking about girls, young ladies, and young boys, and young adolescents. I am including all, everyone, when here I speak in relation to the male and female gender. So, beloved brothers, it is my plea and prayer that we can all be in unison with Christ Jesus because what we need is his real blessing in this hour. Very hard and difficult times are before us. The Lord has shown me many things. There are no words many times to be able to express both the beauty and the difficulty of what we have before us. But I can tell you something. If we still believe that we are going through difficult and many of us sometimes think that these are difficult things that maybe we will not be able to endure, I want to let you know this. First, God is not going to give each one of us a trial that we will not be able to endure and with it the way out. And second, if we believe that we are now in difficult times, brothers, I want to let you know that we are still with loaf on foot. Soon the situation is going to come that we are going to have to be with those on horseback. And it is my plea and prayer that from now on we can pass the goal that God puts in front of us at every moment. Right, raising the norm, taking us little by little in his love and his mercy. Because if he lifts it up with a stroke, none of us could achieve it. But he, in his love and his mercy, carries us little by little. As one who lifts a two pound weight and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. And when he comes to see, he is already lifting 60, 70, 80, and 90 pounds. And he no longer feels it. And likewise, the Lord is doing with us in his love and in his mercy. Let us not miss the opportunity, beloved brothers, to prepare ourselves to meet Christ Jesus. But more before that, to prepare ourselves to receive the latter rain, beloved brothers. Let us not let this early rain that the Lord is sending to each one of us be in vain. But let us make the most of it, beloved brothers, so that we may receive the latter rain. That thus we may preach this message of love, mercy, and salvation to a perishing world which does not yet know in all its splendor what Christ Jesus is like. And then we can be sheltered by the ministry of the holy angels in the places that God has set aside for us for when the difficult times come for the time when they will be persecuting us and all this the time of the death decree during the seven bowels all this and we can already be there sheltered through the holy angels that the Lord has commissioned for that time and already then, we can see our beloved and good Jesus, our Savior, beloved brothers, coming in glory. Oh, beloved, the Lord has shown me this scene several times, and I have no words. I try, but I have no words to describe the gloriousness of that moment, beloved brothers. Let us not afford to miss such a great salvation, is my plea and prayer. And I pray for all the flock of the eternal on the broad face of the earth that we may all be ready for that moment. So, beloved brothers, whatever the Lord asks of us, let us do wholeheartedly. For there is nothing that he asks of us that is bad for us. Everything is of great blessing. May the Lord bless you. And may we have a feast of Passover of the eternal and of the unleavened bread this spring 
festival in continual joy before our God and with our brothers. May the Lord bless us.